Hey there, welcome to the video. Once again, I'm Scott Welsh and we get together at the beginning of each month to talk about how regular people can make money and not in the way that they tell us to. And this month, mm, one of my favorites, we're gonna talk about market crashes or actually the lack of market crashes because I'm going to make an argument that market crashes are a myth, yes. They're a myth. Now we're going to talk about a lot of numbers. Please do not risk any money you cannot afford to lose. Uh, past performance does not indicate future results. And read all the words, words, words. Now, they have told us for a long time. Who is they? You know who they are. They've told us that the stock market is the greatest wealth producing vehicle engine that's ever been created. That's great. I mean, you can look up the academic research and there are some things that show that wealth can be created. Yes, yes, it's true. You can get on the Forbes 500 richest people in the world by buying stocks. It can be done. We can see it. Great. Here's the thing, though, and I don't quite get it, so maybe you can help me. They tell us that the only way to use this all-time wealth creating vehicle is to buy and hold stocks. Hmm. Now, why do they say buy and hold? Because you can't time the market over and over. Your financial advisor probably has told you this. You've probably read articles. People with snooty, uneducated opinions, not that they're uneducated, but if you're saying that you can't time the market, then you just haven't read enough. Just read a couple more books. I promise you'll get there. But they say that market timing is not impossible or is not possible. So if market timing isn't possible, then you can't get in and out of the market. Can't do it. Because, and here's my favorite, you can see this in Tony Robbins' Unshakable book and many, many others. Every, anything that Bogle writes, if you were out of the market in the 13 greatest up days, you would have made 0.2%, right? It's that academic study based on totally specious arguments, meaning arguments that are made by them to prove their point with no wide ranging potential hypotheses. But if you were out of the market at X amount of days, then you would stink, okay? Therefore, without taking anything else into consideration, therefore you can't time the market. Okay, so we can't time the market. It's the greatest wealth producing engine ever, and we have to buy and hold. Wow, well, easy, right? Well, there's a problem with that. And it's the same problem this guy on the screen is having. Market crashes ruin everything. Sometimes they ruin it literally, like taking all your money, and sometimes they just ruin future plans dramatically. If you recall, there's some great crashes if you do your stock market history. And I'm trying to only do recent times, but no, I'm actually going to do more than that. In the 1960s, you remember the 1960s? The 1960s were outrageously good for stock market. It was so good in the 1960s that's when Warren Buffett started his partnership, by the way. Mm -hmm. It was so good in the 60s that Warren Buffett actually quit in 1969. He quit. Why did he quit? He gave all the money back to his investors because the stock market was so outrageously good he couldn't find a stock to pick. And they had all gone up so much he couldn't find anything to buy. And <clears throat> he knew something was coming. Market crash. So he got out and that was perfect because in 1970, the market crashed horrifically. And then when they thought it was over, it crashed again in the early 70s. It crashed twice. You got two for your money. And this is what happened. These guys were there. This is a shot of 1970. Look at that guy. He's calling out, please sell, sell. Okay. Right. That was a horrible one, but we can get more horrible than that. This is from 1929 stock market. I hope the, it's accurate. They look like they're dressed for 1929, don't they? You know what happened in 1929? That's the great stock market crash. That's the crash that everything is compared to in America because it was horrific and some people never recovered, right? 
they bought and held on margin because in the 1920s, do you remember? They said that this is the new era. There were no more stock market crashes and there was only peace on earth and goodwill towards humans. Oh, and the 1929 happened. Did you know in 1960s, they also said it was a new economy? Did you know that? And you know, in the year 2000, they said it was a new economy? And that was one of the worst crashes of all time. I don't have a picture of someone trading by then because it was electronic. So maybe this guy was there. It was a new era in 2000. It was a new era. Oh, in 2008, it was a new economy, right? Is there anything now in 2022 that's a brand new <clears throat> cryptocurrency, right? I am scared to death. If you're a cryptocurrency zealot, I hope you've made a lot of money and I am scared to death for you. I'm just telling you. Okay, which leads us back to today. Right now, it's early May 2022. And look at this guy cleaning up after the great crash of 29. This is the worst start to the stock market since 1939, the Great Depression era. Yep. The first four months of the stock market is the worst beginning of the year since 1939. That's not good, right? A lot of people have been calling for it, but still, that's not good. It's the worst time to trade since 1939. But is it though? Right? We're in the middle of a <clears throat> crash. Are we though? And if we are, why are we in the middle of a crash? Why is it the worst start ever? Well, here's the key, everybody. Ready? This is what you come to this YouTube channel for. Here's the key to a market crash, right? Do you remember Enron? Enron happened in 2000, 2001, and it was the key company to go down that started the dot-com crash. Enron was the seventh biggest company in America. It cheated. <laughs> it cheated huge. It faked all their numbers to keep their quarterly earnings rising. So they only cared about their stock price. So they lied to keep the stock price up. And guess what happened to the stock price? It went to zero. And people, I don't even want to say it, they bought and held Enron stock because they were told to, and then they were eventually locked out and couldn't even sell it when it was going down. Um, the executives could, <laughs> but not the regular people. But there's only one way for your stock in Enron to go to zero. There's only one way. And there's only one way for WorldCom. Remember WorldCom going out of business in 2000? Remember Lehman Brothers going out of business in 2008, 2009? There's only one way that these famous companies can go to zero. That's 1929, 1970s, 2000, 2008. Now, you know what that way is? Buy and hold. <laughs> the only way they tell us we're allowed to trade is the only way we can lose everything. They've instructed us in the exact manner that's perfect and necessary to lose everything we've got. Nothing goes to zero if you stop out of the trade. If you're in Enron and, oh man, they're faking things. I got stopped out. I'll get back in on a breakout. Um, you never get back in, right? It doesn't go to zero if you're not buying and holding, right? If you stop out, I'll say it again, and never get back in on Enron's fall or Lehman's fall. Is it Lehman or Lehman? In Lehman's fall, is there a market crash if you are sitting on the sidelines with all of your money? I'll wait, all right? What do you think? Well, if you have all their money, that's not a crash. And if there isn't a crash, then they don't exist, right? If you stop out of the trade, market crashes are a myth, right? In fact, if you don't buy and hold, <laughs> crashes are profit centers. Crashes are when you actually do extremely well. Let's look at some examples. All right, early May, 
2022, if you're watching this video, here is the S&P index, all right? That doesn't look that great. And it's down 13.16%. It's only been four months. Holy moly, right? It's at the low end of the last 52 weeks. Things are terrible. And by the way, the Fed is raising rates. Do you know what's killed every bull market bubble rally in the history of the stock market? The Fed raising rates. It kills bull markets and it kills them good. And we're raising rates as of yesterday, right? So this is not really a surprise. Okay. Well, if we're looking at what's working in the <clears throat> market crash of so far in 2022, well, we know the stock market isn't working because it's crashing. <laughs> okay. What is working? Wow. Look, oh, look at this. This is fun. This is real data from Purple Valley Fund website. Oh. Um, here are the first four months of 2022, plus 12, plus 8, plus 12, plus 27 percent in April. Huh, I wonder what that adds up to. 75 percent gain for Purple Valley Capital. That is a trend following fund. It is 100 percent systematic. It is zero percent buy and hold. Okay. I'm sorry, minus 13 plus 75. And of course, you know this, I wrote a whole book about this fund and other free trading systems also, right? This, this fund is up 75% in 2022. I'd say that's working. Oh, can I say it one more time? 0% buy and hold. Let's look at another one. This is done capital management you can google it done d-u-n-n capital management they've been around for since the 70s i believe they've been around 40 50 years this is the longest running trend following 100 percent systematic fund it is open if you're an accredited investor it means you have a lot of money right Oh, uh, wait a second. What is percentage is a buy and hold? Oh, 0% buy and hold. And they have three funds. You can find this on their website. One is up 44% for the year. One is up 34% for the year. And then the boring one, the one for institutions, the one that you can have to supplement all of your investing, 15.6. I think 15% up is better than 13% down. Check my math. Now, oh, the answer is right here. Founded in 1974. Long, rich history of exceptional performance, right? 40 years. Oh, wait, look. All of our pro programs are 100% systematic. 0% buy and hold. Is to extract profits from up or down markets. Well, wait a second. If you're 100% systematic and you're trying to you have profit centers during crashes, are there market crashes for this program? No, they don't exist. They are profit centers. Interesting, right? Oh, 2008, just so you know, Dunn was up 51%, just to prove my point a little further. Just throwing that in there. All right, time to humble brag. This is, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this to you. They're very, very particular, and I don't want any false advertising. This is the World Cup Trading Championships, of which I'm entered in 2022. You can see that here. Trading Forex involves significant risk of loss. It is not suitable for anybody, everyone, is suitable for <laughs> trading futures involve significant risk of loss risk of loss it is not suitable for everyone past performance is not indicative of future results okay i had to make sure i say that and as of april 27th this is old this is from last week i was in fourth place at 36 percent. that's better than than 13 percent down right what do i use 100 percent systematic trend following strategies okay again this is old I've fallen desperately out of the top five by a couple percentage points since, right? I'm in a trade right now. Who knows what will happen? I only show you that to show you what a 100% system, systematic system can do. 36%, okay? Here's some more. This is These are all free for you. If you go to scottwellstrategies.com and click on the performance page tab, this is all there for you. Check it out if you like. This is using one lot each time, no compounding. Compounding makes these numbers outrageously good, right? Assume we started 
hypothetically in 2021. This has been updated at the end of April. This is a portfolio I called old school because these are trading systems, not buy and hold. These are systems that have been around for decades. I didn't do anything fancy here. If you want to know exactly the settings, all you have to do is click here and it takes you to the YouTube video and every detail of these strategies are described. Okay. That's all you got to do. Here are the hypothetical numbers. The moving average cross system, I think you can figure it out. It gets in when they cross up and it gets out when they cross down. Up $4,900 using one lodge each, each time hypothetically. The program based on the turtle strategies using a 60-minute chart is up $11,000 hypothetically. And the longer term turtle based on the turtles trading system, which is 100% systematic trend following up 4338 hypothetically the total of those is up over twenty thousand dollars <laughs> it's a lot of money well what size account should i use that's up to you ten thousand twenty thousand fifty thousand you'd have to decide if you did a twenty thousand dollar account that's highly aggressive i'm not recommending it but you'd be up a hundred percent if you use a forty thousand dollar hypothetical account you'd be up fifty percent either way you're up something right doesn't matter what you use the max drawdown since 2021 has been 5,700. So take that for what it's worth. Okay. 21, right? 2021 was also very similar. And if you had hypothetically traded this since 2021, that's $41,000. This group of systems has created. Hmm. Market crash plus $20,000 of hypothetical money. By the way, this is the... You can Google free system in 2022, old school, Scott Welsh. This is the video that gives away all those settings for free. Hooray. And then also on the performance page, let's see what else might be working in 2022. This is the master trend. Of course, you can buy this for me. It's on the website, blah, blah, blah. This is a Bollinger Band system that trades breakouts. The four hour is up nine grand of hypothetical money. The one hour is up 1600 of hypothetical, up 10 grand each. Max drawdown is $9,200. So traded on a $20,000 account. This would be a hypothetical 50% gain. If you used higher because you're risk averse, that's fine. You would be up less, but you would be up, right? Where is the market crash for a simple breakout 100% systematic system? Where's the crash? And if you're looking for the details on that, you can go to scottwalkstrategy.com, resources, trading blog, and there it is. January 9th, I go over all the details for this one for free, okay? And as if that weren't enough, let's finish with this. The folly of buy and hold, because that's what buy and hold is to me, a folly, which is a great word. Here's a recent example, Carvana, right? This is made by super smart people who have learned how to master the new economy. Wait, the new economy? Are we in a new economy again? This is Carvana. You buy it online, right? It went crazy during the pandemic, right? You don't have to deal with a salesman. It's perfect. It's a new way to do business. And it reached a high at the end of 2021 of 376. It made the father and son team multi, multi billionaires. I think 36 billion, something outrageous, right? All time awesome. They are rich in the new economy. The problem is they buy and hold their own stock, right? <laughs> and it's now under $47. That's a crash, my friends. It's a crash because you buy and hold. And anyone who thought they were going, this was going to a thousand because of the new economy and they held it because they have diamond hands. Nice diamond hands. Um, if you bought it 370, you're now under 47. How is that working out horribly, right? This is, can happen to an individual stock at any time. This is why they write books telling us how to handle crashes. You got to buy more. You just got to be strong. The market always comes back and on and on and on. Or you could be 100% systematic, right? You could use a trading system. Here is Carvana 
if you just used a 50 in, 20 out, meaning long only. I didn't even do the short. By the way, the short trades on this were nicely profitable, okay? Buy when it makes a 50-day breakout high. Sell when it hits the trailing stop of the past 20 bars, right? When it, go past, when it goes past the low of the past 20 bars, you get out. You get in on a break above 50, you get out of a break down below 20. Break above 50, down below 20. This is interesting. Check this out. Right near the all-time high, when I'm, I'm a multi-billionaire, I'm out. My last experience with this is a profitable trade if I'm 100% systematic. Where are my trades as it drops to 47? There aren't any, right? Ooh, look, it's a market crash. There is no market crash. I'm out, right? If you're curious, since 2017, see that up here, using $10,000 of hypothetical stock each time, since 2017, if you traded this with a system, you're up 15 grand, there's your drawdown, there's your profit factor, okay? And here's your equity curve. $3,500 take profit. Usually it doesn't hit that, but if it does, take it out. And a $1,000 stop, but mostly it gets out on the low of the past 20 bars. So 50 in, 20 out, a $3,500 take profit if it hits it, and a $1,000 emergency stop loss. Those are the rules for that. That's it. That's all I did. Plus 15, and there's your market crash. <laughs> Instead of... 300 to 47, you get this, okay? There's the uh, link for the performance page, and that's one more time, Carvana, okay? That's the video for this week. Um, hopefully, you're not getting crashed out. Hopefully, your trading system is doing just fine. And hopefully you're starting to buy what I'm selling, and that is not literally buying what I'm selling, but buying the concept I'm selling, and that is don't buy and hold. Use a trading system, and we never have to worry about these crazy market crashes. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.